Hello, my name is Trider. Welcome to part two of the Roman Senate tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. So last time we had completed this phase so we can move on to this one over here. And we finally get to the point where we have an entablature up here suitable for you to write a couple of words on. Over here, I've of course written the uh, Senatus Publiusque Romanus, Senate and People of Rome. Uh, but if you want to write something else on your Senate building, say the name of your server or something like that, uh, this is a good place for you to do that. And you can look up how to do the letters. I believe there's a, a handy tool on some site that will let you convert those. But that's not covered here. This is just an optional thing. Uh, but for this phase, as you can see, what you're going around and doing, we are adding two blocks of diorite all the way around, one block back from the cornice for the upside down stairs all the way around the building on the exterior as you see done here. And there's a little bit too much diorite in this one, like in, in the middle here. You can probably leave this hollow or fill that in with cobble or whatever block. Uh, but it's at this point also we have our little transition. We had to stop this ladder here, go three blocks in this direction and put another ladder. We have to have a, a two-part system to get up to our little balcony that we're going to be building. Uh, on the interior, let's take a look at this. So we have, of course, the repeating designs of glazed terracotta. And you can try and make this design with the blue and the red, or you can make uh, this design with the, the, the blue and the red, or rather the, uh, the black glazed terracotta and the blue. It's got red in it, so I keep calling it red, but it's not actually the red one. And of course, there are two more designs on the sides here you can choose from. I believe there are two additional ones over here as well. Uh, if you don't care to repeat the designs, you can just fill this in with whatever type of terracotta that you are using. Uh, but in general, except, uh, except for in the middle here, along our center line, they are going to be uh, four by four blocks in a little frieze all the way around the inside for the uh, entablature here. And it bends around here in the middle over the emperor's throne down there. All right, I think that's all there is on this phase. Not too complicated. So let's move on to the next one. So over here at the balcony, um, after you make your two block tall diorite entablature, we want to finish that off with another cornice of upside down stone brick stairs. In other words, what you did down here for these stone brick stairs, repeat that again up there all the way around the building as you see done here. Same layer, just move it up here. All right. Okay, so on top of that, we want to put in some uh, cobblestone slabs here for the front, just on top of those for the balcony, and behind those we're putting diorite, and we're going to be putting uh, some little little decorative uh, acroterion on the sides over there like that, I think. Um, but you can see we have finished our, our ladders here. We just have a couple little letters, just enough for you to navigate the space right there. And on top of that, you want to use these uh, smooth stone slabs here, or however many of those are, till you get all the way to the back here. I think uh, let's just count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in general, they are about eight blocks back, but it's going to be six blocks till you get to the uh, the column bases for the um, uh, plasters we have that are going to be attached to the walls here. It's just the same design that we did down here for those. In other words, this entire module, we're going to be building it again up here. Remember, we had, uh, we had two tiers of those, so you should professionally know how to construct those by now. On the inside here, we have our quartz cornice being done like here. It mirrors this one. We're building that one up there again, right on top of the frieze that you did with the glazed terracotta. 
like you see down here. And on top of that, you are building, uh oh, I missed some quartz. Uh, this, this here, this needs to be just plain quartz blocks. So that's going to be five more on that total. Like I missed that. Um, uh, but you can see that it's completed on the sides here, the, the full quartz blocks. And we are mirroring again what we did down here at uh, this level for that. We are going to be building all of that again up here at this level. I think the only change is on that one, we're going to be changing the plasters here from uh, the uh, marble, or rather the, the nether quartz, to, I think, lapis. Full lapis blocks is what I used for that. Over here, we have the foundation for the golden imperial eagle perched over the emperor's throne. And I will show you this here. Uh, now, for this eagle, I have done this in different materials, but this has, this has its own dedicated tutorial video, the Roman Eagle tutorial, a couple months ago, I think. So if, if what I show you in this is not good enough to help you reconstruct that, this particular statue, uh, please reference that other tutorial video. Now let's take a look at all this from the top down, as we do and move on to our next phase over here. All right, so I think we are completing the uh, balcony on this. As I said, all we had to do on this is just put these little decorative finales on the sides here, two of those. Uh, back here, we are resuming our layering of cobble, the stone bricks to cobble, uh, like we have been doing down here, you're going to be doing that again, continuing up the outside of the building. So here at the front, give you a good view of this. You can see we're building our windows here again with the alternating uh, light blue stained glass panes and blocks. Same pattern as before, like that there. And as I said, um, what you built down here before, like at, uh, at this point down here for the modules for these windows, that is that point again. It is just going to be a copy and paste stacked directly on top of those. So as we go, I will just give you a good view of that. But now that you have that in mind and you've already had experience building these in the arcade below, they should come together quite quickly. All right, views of the interior here. We are putting in our lapis plasters, as you see, with the lapis blocks on the side here. Still missing those quartz. That's really obvious. I don't know how I didn't catch that. Um, but you want to make sure that is quartz as we go. That's two things on this building I've got to go back and fix. Um, so views along the sides here. And I will just give you close-in views of the eagle, of the eagle here. And as I said, this eagle has its own dedicated tutorial video. There we go. We have our uh, talons outstretched here, ready to swoop down and pounce on anyone that would uh, threaten the emperor. All right. Next phase, we have completed, as I said, the balcony. So we can uh, take a look at the exterior here. We are building again our arcades along here, same design as we do. I'll just give you a, a quick and cursory glance at this since it is um, something we have already covered. So on the inside over here, same deal, but different materials, quartz and lapis. Lapis is one of my favorite blocks in the game. I really love this deep royal blue color. One of my favorite blocks to use for flooring and columns and things. And here we go. For the eagle. Now the eagle is symmetrical, by the way. So, so one half of this is going to be exactly the same as the other half. Like that there. And we can go on to the next phase over here.
So a bit more of the arcades. We're starting to build the lowermost portions of the arches. Again, they're going to be going across there. As you see, three of those at the front. And what, five of those along the side and uh, three more at the back. Not too difficult. Take a look at the interior. I mean, it's the same deal. I think we can go through these phases fairly quickly. The only thing I need to focus on is going to be the eagle here. So we have our uh, our beak out here for our eagle. Of course, we have our wings being sucked back on both sides here. All right, next phase. We'll have to slow down a little when we get to the barrel vault, I think. Over here, views of the arcades and the pilasters. We're starting to build uh, our Corinthian capitals up here for those. View along the side here. Same deal, repeating patterns. All right, on the inside, same deal again. Corinthian capitals, a little bit of nether quartz behind those there and uh, close in views of our eagle. I believe we, we built all this so we can just focus in on these couple of blocks here for the wing. I think maybe the next phase we'll probably finish that eagle. Which we will take a look at right now. All right, so we have our arches now complete here, just like we built before. The tops of our Corinthian capitals and a, a little uh, lintel for an entablature along the sides there. So you're placing pretty much a band of diorite on all of the... Uh-oh. That block should be diorite there. Let's take number three in this building. Yep. So make sure those are diorite when you are building that. And views along the back. And let's take a view of the interior in here. All right, so we have our completed arcades along the insides, our Corinthian capitals, and our chiseled quartz uh, band along the interior in here. I think it's pretty much a giant rectangle, actually. Taking a look at that from the top down. Like that there. And views of the uh, eagle wings here. Just a couple of blocks left for those. Of course, I've put some torches back here to light the whole thing up. If you're building this in survival, you may need... Uh, more, more torches than that to make sure nothing will spawn on you. All right, next phase, we're building a bit more of our entablature. We're building a string course of upside down stone brick stairs. And then diorite again. What you did down here with the diorite, you want to be doing again on top of that. Make sure that is down, right? It looks like I, I got this block here, but I didn't I didn't get the one below it. Hmm. Well, it's kind of in the corner. I can see how I didn't miss that. But anyway, along the side here, you can see our completed arcades. And along the back here again. All right, along the inside here, we are now building the lowermost portions of our barrel vault. Which uh, all that is, is a barrel vault is a semicircular uh, arch, but it's extended forward in three-dimensional space. And that creates a, a barrel vault. And I have, uh, I put some decorative ribbing in this also. And we can see behind this, there are probably some blocks that you can get away with not using, like the ones that you can't see back here. You can probably leave those off. Um, but this is going to be your blue glazed terracotta. And you want to be placing the quartz like you see done here. So this is our center line right there. 
And I will give you just uh, good slow views of this as we go. You're placing this in a three and then a, uh, a skip one, place one, skip one, place one, skip one, and then a three again. And you want to continue doing that all around to the back. And uh, back here again, this is going to be the same as the front is up there. And hmm, where are those there? And there we go. All right, let's take a look at the exterior now. We're building a bit more of our entablature, but it's uh, more ornate of an entablature now. We are doing the dentils here with uh, mostly with cobblestone, but also with uh, chiseled stone bricks here. Uh, not low stones, chiseled stone bricks. And on top of those, let me just uh, knock a little bit of this off. So you can see we're placing the chiseled stone bricks. Uh, one, skip one, place one, skip one, and place one, like that there. Along the sides here, and then you want to be filling those in, every other block with cobble. Below the cobble, you want to place stone bricks, a uh, slab there below those. And in front of the chiseled stone bricks, you want to place cobblestone walls, like you see done here. And on top of the cobblestone, you then want to come around and place upside down stairs for those. And uh, this is a, a modular pattern, this little two block thing, this little two block section here. You want to repeat that again, and then again, and then again, and so on and so forth, uh, wrapping it around the corners as best you can, and as you see done here. Continuing it uh, along the sides here and around the back as well. Just a simple repeating pattern, uh, but it may be a little tedious to build. Uh, on the inside here, we are extending the quartz up at the front, like you see done here. On the sides for our barrel vaults, we have some little uh, quartz decorations. Down here, we have our main arches that we're going to be building um, along here, like so. And this is yet another repeating pattern with the quartz in front and the blue glazed terracotta behind that for your ceiling to decorate that out. And uh, hmm, maybe we're still here. I wonder, I think this should probably be um, um, gold ore. Yeah. So mistake number four, I think. Uh, these, these blocks here, uh, place gold ore blocks there to cap off the tip ends of the eagle, and that will finish that statue. Uh, I think the reason those got changed is because I was experimenting before the blue terracotta. I had gold ore for the ceiling up here, but when I switched to the blue terracotta, I really liked that a lot better. But it looks like my brush uh, clipped the eagle's wings over there. So over here, it looks like uh, like I missed that when I was making the face for this. Uh, ignore that. Uh, over here for the cornices, we want to be placing upside down stone brick stairs. It's going to be one block in front of the uh, dentils for the entablature that you just built. And to finish off the entablature, we do that with a cornice of upside down stone brick stairs. As you see done here, according to that pattern, uh, on the sides, well, before we get to that, let's talk about the front. So at the front here, we have our, um, uh, we have a lot of uh, cobblestone slabs placed here, a two here, and then a four by four, and then a three by however many that is and then uh, straight across the front there, and of course cobblestone behind that again to fill all that in. Here is the detail on the sides here. This is the lowest portion of our pediment that we're going to be constructing. Of course, the pediment is the little triangular section that's on top of all, all the Greek temples. Uh, on the sides, we have to have the, the, uh, the cornice overhang a little bit over here on the sides. It's called a raking cornice. And we are doing that with just a line 
of stone brick stairs. Like, uh, not stairs, stone brick slabs, like you see arranged here, and they're going to be overhanging um, this along the entire section. And you're going to be mirroring uh, all of that as you, that you did at the front. You want to build all of that again exactly the same at the back. So back here. All right, let's take a look at the inside. We have our quartz again and our blue glaze terracotta. Uh, of course, since this, is, since this is a barrel of vault, it is now, I, I said it's a semicircular feature. So it's going to be overhanging and our first overhang is going to be um, being done according to this pattern here. So I will just go through here and give you good slow views of all of this. Again, this is another repeating pattern. And once you do a little bit of it, you will quickly see how to place the rest of it. Of course, it's the same on both sides. Maybe with the, uh, the shaders, this is the better side to take a look at. And uh, at the back there, very simple. All right, let's move on to the next phase over here. So we're building more of our pediment. Now I will just give you a good look at this. We have a rather complicated sequence of uh, full blocks and half slabs here of both cobblestone and stone bricks. And we're, we're doing this to try and uh, what we did down here with the, the dentils on, on that layer there. We're trying to do it again right here but we're bending it up at an angle. So it gets extremely messy. And I will just uh, I will just shave some of this back on the sides here. So you can see this a little bit easier. We have our full blocks here and our, our double half slabs in between those. Like you see done there on the sides here, we are we're all the way up to the roof. So we are now placing the roof tiles for the top. And of course, on top of our, our raking cornice over here, we have um, stone brick slabs and alternating on every one of those for a little uh, detail. We have just full blocks of cobblestone. And we also have some little ribs that we're going to be building in the roof here. Of course, uh, I add these in to all of my builds just to make the roofs look more interesting for Minecraft. So we have the, the cobblestone here. And, uh, hmm. yeah, okay, that definitely needs to be cobbled. Just place some, um, just place more um, nether brick slabs where that red wool is to cap that off. We shouldn't have any exposed cobble like that on the roof there. Uh, but as you can see, the, the roof tiles, they are, again, a simple repeating pattern of the, the uh, red nether brick are full blocks. And in front of those, you just, uh, in a jagged pattern, place the half slabs of nether brick, whichever half slab you want to use. And in front of that, again, just place the red nether brick. So the roof sections, they're all, they're all modular. So once you do this section here, you want to go to the side, repeat it again and again. And I said once you get back here, all of this is a repeat of what we did up there at the front. Except for this, I think, because the, uh, the Acroterion at the back are a little bit different than the ones we have at the front. So there's a small change right here. And I'll just give you a good view of this here. Um, in the middle, we have the lowest parts of some uh, formal decoration we have in the middle of our pediment. I didn't put a, uh, a complex sculptural facade in there. I chose something a little bit simpler. Uh, but anyway, this is our center line running through here. So you want to place three blocks there. Skip three blocks, place two. Skip two blocks, place one as you see done there, and the pattern is the same on both ends of the building. So let's take a look inside now. So we are building our barrel vault again. We 
we built this block last time, but we build one more block on that and then we overhang another block. As you see done here, it's over here. Take a look at that. And as you can see, the quartz is separating out now. We are doing this because we're going to be forming little ribs in between our um, in between the sections of our barrel vault to make it a ribbed barrel vault. And I do that just to make things look a little bit more interesting. We want to have our Senate building be as decorated as it can be. And views back toward the front there. And we can continue on. Just a couple of more phases to go. We're in the home stretch now. Up here, we have uh, the, some more uh, details for our uh, pediments with the cobble here. I think you can see uh, see how that fits in. Over here, we can see a bit more of the uh, the bent uh, details up here for the dent the dentils and everything. But we can see that we have full blocks going here. And below and be, uh, below and behind those, we have our cobblestone going up at the same angle. It's going up. Uh, it's going up at a half step, is what this is doing. We have a, a full block, and then two half slabs, a full block, two half slabs, full block, as uh, as you see done there, and it projects forward a little bit as well, like that. And along the sides here, we have the lowest portions of the platform for the Akraterion that we're going to be building on the sides here. Of course, uh, Akraterion is just a term. It means it's, it's a term denoting the, the decorative things you always see on the perched on the corners of the Greek temples. Those are called Akraterion. And we have our ribs here and our repeating pattern for the roof tiles. I think you can clearly see how those are fitting together. Let me just uh, back off a little bit and show you that from a distance. And as I said, we, had, uh, we have uh, different decorations here at the back, more simple ones at the back. As you see down here, which is a couple of blocks of diorite. And uh, that should probably be another couple, cobblestone stair. All right, let's take a look at the inside. We're forming a bit more of our barrel vault. Start over here. So you can see we're stepping in on another block and continuing our quartz. Placing the blue glaze terracotta behind that. And back here at the back, we have some, uh, some arches forming a, uh, just some more decoration at the back here. Uh, this touches, it, it's a bit medieval back here for this one, but it, it looked the best, so I went with it. That's a bit of my uh, cathedral building experience bleeding over on this. All right, next phase, let's take a look, uh, start over here with the Akrotaria. So we're building sort of um, little statues over here. We've got some, some outstretched uh, legs and feet over here with uh, different blocks. Get a little tail back here. And uh, these aren't very complicated, so I'll just give you good views of these. I think um, I may have gone over these in more detail in my Parthenon tutorial video. That's where I first made these, so I took extra time in that one. Over here, we can see the completed. Um, uh, sculptural elements for the front pediment. We just have little little curls here and a little circle in the middle there for that. Just an understated uh, elegant detail. So uh, you've built enough of this by now that you can see that this, this is just extending straight up in uh, half step increments. And there's enough here for you to know that uh, this here is going to be another two block module. But then all you do is you shift two blocks over, or rather up, well, over and up, and build it again. 
and then two blocks over and up, I get it again, and so on and so forth. And that will be the same until we meet at an apex in uh, just a couple of phases. So a view along the roof here with the roof tiles. No surprises there. Uh, we do have this uh, very small Acroterion complete back here. Very small, just a couple of blocks. View of the back. And in here, let's uh, now take a look at our barrel vault. Let's uh, start here. So this is the view along the front. We're getting ready to, I think in just a phase or two, we're gonna be finishing this barrel vault actually. So over, you know, take a look at it here. Let me trace some of this with the wool actually. So we can see that we have been, we started with uh, four blocks and then we went to two two again, and then we stepped in one block, then one again, and now we're stepping in two blocks, but over in this direction here. And of course you can see the shape that our quartz ribs are forming. We have the straight arches here, but in between those we have the ribs that are going to be forming little X's uh, in between the um, segments. There we go. All right, uh, next phase. Start with the, the Acroterion here. Just a couple of blocks. We've got our curly tail forming over here. The uh, reared up feet on the sides here. And just a, a solid body of a diorite. All right, in the middle here, as I've said, this is just a repeating pattern. You're continuing to expand it up. And it's going to be meeting and colliding at the apex of the pediment fairly shortly. And uh, view along the side here for the roof. And we can see we're also capping off our barrel vault on the interior here with all that blue stained or blue glazed terracotta. And let me just uh, drop down through here. So in the middle, you can see that I've left little skylights in here with that glass that I broke, and that's just to give some natural light onto the floor of the building so it's not just a completely dark cave. And if I just go down here, I think you can see the completed uh, section of the barrel vault from below here. What you have now should look something like this. Let me go up and give you closer in views. So you can see all this around here. All right. So that should be uh, actually your interior at this phase should be completed. So what we have left to do is going to be the uh, roof. So here is a view of the uh, apex of the pediment slowly colliding together. We have our uh, cobblestone that's now touching like that there. We have uh, the head of our Acroterion is being put on over here. It's just, um, just a couple of blocks like that. We have our roof tiles that are going to be meeting at the top. There's going to be a little ridge at the top there for those. And of course the pediment at the back is the same as it is at the front. All right, how many phases left? Four? Well, no, three, probably three. So over here you can see that our apex has been formed. Everything has collided together here at the top. As you see. Uh, behind that, we have this ridge that is being formed going down our roof, made of uh, cobblestone stairs and stone bricks and slabs. The, um, the, the cobblestone ribbing that you see on the exterior here, these should be meeting at the top. Uh, in the middle here, for a couple of blocks, I think it's four of those, 
Uh, we have the, the glass that's being placed for those skylights that I mentioned. So you want to leave a little hole for that. And then form the ribbing like that and another skylight here. And the others along there. So four in total of those. So here is the detail for the Acroterion at the back of the building. It's different than the one at the front. Just a couple of blocks of diorite here, as you can see. Of course, here is the one at the front. Uh, and the one at the front is going to be, it's going to be a copy of this here, uh, but we're going to be adding some wings on it. It's uh, sort of like a Pegasus statue, except, you know, Minecraft. We've only got a couple blocks, so you kind of have to use your imagination on, on a lot of those. Um, in fact, let's just go on to the next phase here where I show you more of that statue. So we have our curly tail again. And uh, this is all the same, but the only thing you're adding new over here is going to be these blocks, which are going to be the start of the wings of our uh, Pegasus statue, as you see here. Uh, at the back here, the decoration is different. It's uh, simpler. as you see done here. And let's go ahead and take a look at a bit more of that while we're back here. And indeed, while we're back here, I think there's only just a couple of blocks on top of that to complete uh, this entire decoration at the back here. Fairly simple arrangement of blocks. So let's go back over here take a little bit more of a view of our Acroterion. So we place this block here. I want to place uh, that one there, and then that one there, and then two blocks back there. You want to do the same blocks on both sides. And after you do that, you then want to place, uh, what's it going to be? Uh, these blocks here for the tips of the wings of our uh, little Pegasus statues there. And uh, once you have done that, your Imperial or Roman Senate House will be complete. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial for the Roman Senate House. This should make a nice place for you to build as a, a government center for your server or any world that you are building in. Remember, the world is available for download in the video description in case uh, some of the parts were too complicated and you need to come here and take a look at the building for yourself. And I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.